Welcome, everybody, back to the Some Ordinary Podcast. Wow, the intro we're going to do. It. <laughs> I've been doing that one for so long. <laughs> I forgot, dude. Well, I you forgot. Want, well, we got Nags here, buddy. Nags, your camera went black camera and white. Just, You're, yeah. you, Watch, I got this. Yeah, we said it. I mean, I mean, it's not even like the. It's like it's like the black and white kind of works. It's like a little Ellie Noir style deal going on. Well, I wanted. Well, I wanted. uh, I didn't know if you wanted a recording, so I pulled up. I was like, because we were doing the clap, but now that it records here, so I don't have to. We 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 would have applied a black and white filter to all of us just to make you feel better. (laughs) You guys are so nice. Thank you. We we would up the contrast on all of us, so you would look really out of place. Yeah, we would have had like a mosaic filter on one, a Gaussian blur on the other, and like some messed up for everyone. <laughs> but like, but Caleb, could you explain to us why you've been missing in action? What kind of what kind of warfare have you been involved? I can't in? even. I can't even talk about it, man. There's NDAs. There's lawsuits. I'm f- <laughs> up, dude. I'm fucked up. I've been working in the mines. I'm like them children yearning for it. Jesus Christ. It sucks, dude. I'll be. And I'll be they back say, soon. And they say, in the words of Matt Pat. And they say being a mom is the hardest job. What is it, being a father? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, okay, so, Matt uh, Pat didn't actually say that in those words. I don't want to like, <laughs> I don't want to cast dispersions here. So we're gonna we're gonna have to rip the bandaid off real quick. Who's been following this creator clash? Uh, uh, nuclear bomb. Me. <laughs> yeah, me. a little bit. I've been following everything else though. Dude, it's so, crazy, man. It's crazy how much stuff has happened. Dude, in like the well, last you've been week, gone yeah. for like a year, so for you, it's like a lot of stuff has happened. <laughs> True. Yeah, but like it's a, so in the last week. So for anybody who doesn't know, Creator Clash is a charity event. And by the way, I want all the events in the influencer space to go off without a hitch. Like even in the makeup sphere, you know what I mean? Like anytime you see a failure, it's just like bad for everyone. It literally like, is. Every it, time it, an it event is, yeah. goes well, yeah. it is good for everyone. You know? Yeah, because then it always gets positive press and all that bullshit. But like so. I didn't hear anything about this event up until like just the last week when one of its fighters, so Froggy Fresh, if you guys don't know on YouTube, back in the Ray William Johnson days is how I learned about this guy. I know there's a, there's like probably 99% of the people watching this show that are like, who the fuck is Ray William Johnson? At one point, <laughs> oh, at, so I used to watch him all the time, man. All at at one time. point, he used to be the PewDiePie of the platform, yeah. bro. And listen, we've been through all the different, we've been through Fred, We've been through RW. Yeah. We've been through. We've been to Mr. Beast now. So like he used to be on this the show. Bell Delphine era. Bell What's Delphine happening for him? One, right? like, that's what I always remember. What's happening for him? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's yeah. Exactly. equal for three, him. right? Dude, and he, yeah, and he would answer. Say, and yeah. He would stop every yeah. one of his videos. It's like remember to leave a comment down below yeah. or on Google yep. Plus. Right? He would always do that. Bro, see, uh, when you say Google Plus, that already makes me feel like I should be collecting social security <laughs> checks, bro. Like, that's how old this shit is, okay? Yeah, I remember yeah. Google Plus's backlash. I remember, like, what the f? Oh, it was to have so these- bad. <laughs> it was but, like, like oh. very. It's like Facebook takes a lot of L's. Have you noticed how many L's Facebook takes? Are you kidding? They're taking a W ever since the beginning of this year, bro. They, they take stopped so the many metaverse L's. Shit. The government needs to step in to ban TikTok. Bro, they they stopped the metaverse shit, okay? That's the biggest they W did. right there. Yeah, they're, right. Now they're on like chat. Everyone's on the chat GPT grind because they figured it's super easy, right? Like all I have to yeah. do is sit on my ass writing prompts and it just spits out for me. A lot easier than like putting the f-ing helmet on and living in like I saw this one metaverse thing the other day. It was hilarious. They made a shopping mall in the metaverse, and it's already dead. Like real life shopping malls are already f-ing dead. Who the f- decided to make one in the metaverse? <laughs> like, like literally, there's like gameplay footage. Some guy put on the helmet, walks around, and it's the deadest online. Maybe there's like one other person, right? Whatever slave kid they're paying from, like you know, Western like India or some shit to like be part of like the service industry here. Disney already <laughs> cut like seven thousand jobs. No. Disney already no. cut seven thousand jobs. All of them are from the other side of the world where they're making like a dollar an hour <laughs> being like your fucking. You know, working service jobs in the metaverse. It's already done. Like, this is not a fruitful industry. But, yeah. Well, I always since... wondered with, with, with the metaverse, uh, like, VR chat does so much more and is so way ahead of its time compared to the metaverse. Bro, I, the, th- the thing with VR chat is you can use it on a keyboard and mouse. That's the thing, right? Like, yeah. what is the average? average the v- money in that. What's the average VR chat audience, okay? It's not the dude with the $1,000 in MetaQuest, okay? It's the dude well, with... Well, it's a, there's it's a, a dude lot with... that have it. That Bro, they have the HTC Vive and the whole, uh, you know, full body because there's uh, but a see, lot that, of people have that. That's the know? thing. If somebody has that, that's like maybe 0.5% of the base. You're forgetting True. the majority of the VR chat marketplace. It's in 
one hand, mouse in the other, okay? That's Max. the difference. It's also a very and good point. And Nags can speak from personal experience. <laughs> no, I can't talk from personal, yeah. no. A lot of you don't know this about Nags, but his origins came yeah. from the VR chat space. And his name, uh, am I allowed to say your name there? Or is that yeah, yeah. is that yeah, taboo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your name? Yeah, Joey Bagels. Joey Bagels is my Joey uh, Bagels. Name. Yeah. Now it's I know a, another it's... Joey. <laughs> the only other Joey I used to know was Joey, Joey Bagel. Salads. <laughs> Joey Bagels. Joey Salads. Another old school. Is he a oh, the collab? The Bagel is Salad a, collab. Isn't he trying to be a congressman or something? Was he running for office? Uh, or something? He, he was trying, but you know, there's a whole problem when like there's a video of you pissing into your own mouth. Pissing in your mouth. Yeah. That yeah. becomes a problem. It's rough. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Trump got away with it. Oh man. Trump was never pissing into his own mouth though. Like, that's that's a key difference. He hasn't I gotten bet that you he far. Did. He did, but it's not on it's not on a it's not on a bullshit <laughs> jackass VHS style rip, I bet though. it happened. I, I bet, bet it I bet. <laughs> right. Source, trust me, bro. I'm no, a but journalist. Dude, with some of those chat GPT <laughs> prompts lately, have you guys been seeing the Trump like arrest memes oh they're they're Dude. hilarious son. i remember who tweeted that um the day that oh god what's his name chris chan gets out of prison is the day trump gets arrested and then the next day chris chan gets out of prison i think but, that was gamer from mars wasn't it yeah was it that was art oh I think. my god i think our art, art, art was the one that mentioned it Dude, said I that still, in the podcast i still have to get the sonic you played on my car getting connected i have that i saw that the other day and i just still have to get that i have to go to the dmv to get that applied so that's gonna that's gonna be a fun one. But the Trump memes are hilarious. Like so AI has made me not trust anything. Like ever since they had like in ever since like Joe Rogan was promoting like pills. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, boys, we're in, the, yeah. we're in the bad part of side. We're 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 in the part of the internet that's gonna be like just from this moment on. He didn't so, actually do that? No, no dude, <laughs> dude, we can't even say he'll copyright strike the fucking video yeah. if we mention it, dude. He's oh, like really? in, Bro, the, so yeah, the he's not like, happy about it. Yo, he's been yeah, taking down all the clips sure. of him. Uh, I don't know if him or his team. I'm sure it was his team. I'm sure he doesn't Probably care. His team, but like, dance, whatever. The uh, the clip of him saying um, saying Jews like bunny is like saying Italians like bagels. Oh, Italians like pizza, bagels. I'm seeing eggs. <laughs> he's Italian. I'm just thinking <laughs> bagels. He's thinking of bagels, bro. I got you. Yeah. So like he, that clip, you can't find the clip anymore. You could just find people talking about the clip. What, what, what was he going on about that for? It's like Jews like um, money. Doesn't everyone like money though? Like, dude, I love money. Yeah, <laughs> dude, so true. No, I'm not Jewish, I but he I was, love money, dude. <laughs> it was a political thing. There was someone who was uh, embezzling, and someone called them Jewish or something, and uh, it's like, well, that's not that's obvious. So it, of course Jews like money. It, that, like, I'm pretty sure that was like, the, I could be wrong, I don't know. Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by our friends over at ExpressVPN. And you know what they want to tell us? What's not fair, what's weird, is the fact that Netflix hides thousands of shows that you could be watching all because you live in a part of the world that they don't agree with. And then they have the nerve to sit down and increase prices on you. I'm looking at you, Netflix. I'm looking at you, streaming services. And now you could just cancel your subscription in protest, or you could be tactical, smart, and savvy about it and utilize that extra money towards ExpressVPN, like I do. You might not know what's going on in your country or other countries when it comes to Netflix content. Things are different all over the world. And utilizing ExpressVPN, we can change with up to 90 countries to pick from and fool old Netflix into giving us geo-restricted content no matter where we live. In Canada, I can switch to watching all those U.S. shows all without leaving my house. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the best part is it's not just for Netflix. You can use ExpressVPN to unlock shows from various other streaming services as well. In fact, you can use it to watch the BBC iPlayer because that's free only if you live in the United Kingdom. But thanks to ExpressVPN <laughs> and their super fast servers, you too can pretend to be from the British Isles. So stop paying full price for streaming services and only getting access to a fraction of the content that you should be getting. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash SOP. Don't forget to use our link so you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash SOP. Uh, dude, like, I, I'll, I'll be real. Joe Rogan to me is like the funniest fucking like Skyrim character in reality. Dude. He's just like he's, he's just such a wacky dude. He's the oblivion NPC that accidentally yeah. became the main character. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's the fucking adoring fan. Every time somebody shows up on his fucking like podcast. Yeah. No, but, but the, but the thing about the thing about like the the AI shit that always wilds me out too is like it's not just Joe Rogan. It's like so the fucking Trump arrest memes, right? 
I kind of almost believe that. You got to understand, it's like eight o'clock in the morning. My eyes just opened. I opened up like, you know, social media and I saw Trump like and a bunch of like cops are surrounding him. And then the it next image. Real. It did look real. It looked yeah. pretty real. Like nowadays with the AI shit, I'm always like, look at the hands, right? Like if they have 14 right. fingers, it's like, yeah. that's when you know it's <laughs> fake. But now it's gotten even better about that. So I'm like, wait a minute, how do I actually identify it? There's like images of like Elon Musk dating random people. Like they apparently had him dating like the fucking CEO of General Motors. I'm like, what the? I saw is that. Going? That was pretty funny. And he, he was mad because he was wearing the wrong shirt or something. He's like, I would never wear that. That's that's our that's our Elon Musk the guy taking away our verification badges at the speed of sound. Dude, I can't wait for April the first. I can't wait. What do you guys for think it? about the TikTok ban bill, huh? Dude, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little, Patriot Act. God, it's, it's literally the Patriot Act bro, for the internet, dude. Bro, yeah, yeah, Patriot crazy. Act 2.0. Nuts, 0. man. Seriously. Bro, I, I, I love the, the government. Isn't that crazy how they're just like, yes, <laughs> TikTok is evil. Also, here, let us let us completely invade your have privacy. another <laughs> level of overreach of power from now on because of TikTok being evil. Dude, Let's it's like not only ban TikTok, my, but also my thing is like you shouldn't even have to ban TikTok. Isn't the point of living yeah. in our society like you have the choice to get spied on by the <laughs> yeah, Chinese. Dude. Like, I would never well, install TikTok, you sorry. know? Sorry, <laughs> Muda, sorry, sorry. Our society. You live in Canada. Hey, brother, right. I have holdings in the United States that makes okay. me an American. Well, hey, hey, Muda, if you're an American know. citizen, you know, Canada does not allow free speech. There's no free speech in Canada. No, there's, there's no none. free speech in Canada. No, there's no. And right now, just implying that Canadians had freedom is actually tantamount yep. to hate speech. What about the, the, like the Bill C-11 or whatever? Bro, that's the whole reason I'm moving to Texas. I yeah, know, exactly. You got, well, are you yeah, actually? Well, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool, cool. My, I, had to, I, had a, I had a talk with my mom about it, and my mom was like, I don't want to see my baby go away. I'm like, Ma, I kind of been looking for a reason to leave for a long time. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> I'm like, you can come with me. It's like, we're going to go up to like the nice part of Dallas. And my mom is like, doesn't everyone just have guns over there? And all the, she like, looks <laughs> at said, it like, yes, that's why I'm moving. Yeah. Well, she, she kind of, she was like, she's really wholesome. So she thought it was like, Dallas is like, Back to the Future Part Three, like the Wild West and shit. I'm like, nah, ma. They they have indoor plumbing and all that shit now too. Like they've also <laughs> upgraded as time goes on. But uh, yeah, it's uh, the, the whole reason I'm like even considering the states now is because of stupid bills like that. But like that restrict act shit that came up. I had one person defending it on like a tweet that I made yesterday. You know that account was made literally that day and throw away account. I'm like, all right, whatever. Government psyop agent. <laughs> Can try to convince I love when you see those way. accounts that are called called Master Troller, made a week ago. Like, there's so many of those on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Well, it's about to get even better. Dude, I can't wait for April 1st, okay? Like, everyone's badges is getting taken away unless you're paying in Twitter Blue. I can't wait for the misinformation, dude. I'm honestly it's gonna like, be insane. It's going to be it's awesome. Gonna be insane. Bro, I'm salivating, okay? I, honest <laughs> to God, I want people to impersonate governments and throw, like, nuclear threats me around. You know what I mean? How about like, the Mother Taliban of... tweeting now? They don't even need an impersonator <laughs> yeah, to be entertaining as shit. <laughs> yeah, the, the Tal- yeah, like 900 other Taliban accounts pop up. I, I would l- yeah. Dude, I would l- by the way, YouTube, the Taliban is a bad organization. Bad. Very <laughs> we don't bad. Believe in, we don't believe uh, in their ideology even a little. I had to in say Minecraft. It. Dude, I had to say it a million times because I made a video with about that. Oh, Lord wait, Miles I did. Dude. I think I saw it. I think I saw that uh, yeah. with the 4chan where he was updating yeah. everything and he took the trip. Yeah, yeah, I watched I that. Ha- yeah. I had to look into it and then like I had I was like kind of like stun locked. I'm like, do I do I say the Taliban is bad or not? And then because I'm looking at this entire US government website, peace agreement signed between the US government. I'm like, wait, <laughs> are they kind of the good guys or the bad no, guys? Or what no. the hell? <laughs> And then I'm just like, you know, I'm gonna stick to my guns. I'm gonna say they're bad. Okay, we'll de- we'll, de- we'll deal with stick whatever. Stick to fallout. my guns. Yeah. <laughs> Taliban, you are bad. Well, when you when you read like the word peace agreement, which like, could you imagine back in the day, like when we were growing up, like you have George W. Bush, like we don't negotiate with terrorists, and then. And like, now it's like, anyways, peace of mass destruction. <laughs> like, dude, if I could go back in time and just show them articles of today, I'm pretty sure the world would be in a fucking different location. You know what I mean? Or a lot of those guys would be like, "What the fuck was any of all this for?" But that that's uh, that was one of the avenues that I had to go down with YouTube. And I'm like, dude, do we do we say they're good or do we say they're bad? Anyways, the Taliban kind of has that like youth pastor thing going on right now, where they're really getting real, real uh, like hip and trendy on online their tweets are genuinely impressive like yeah. they're funny bro have you seen how they're fucking funny have you seen how 
up some of them go. Like, there's unironically oh, yeah. people in, like, Kabul this. who are, like... <laughs> There's like there's unironically dudes from Kabul who's like I saw this rainbow flag somewhere and they're like looking into it right now having our state intelligence. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, I it's saw like that. A, a peak. <laughs> it's still the Taliban, but at the same time, it's like this is hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> like dude, I can't wait for when they extend it. It's like we're now inviting Sneeko as our cultural envoy from oh the United god. States. Oh my god, here. dude. <laughs> Dude, he's in Japan oh, right now. It's kind of wild. He's of the course most he is. Thing. Everyone is. Again with Japan. Yeah. Dude, dude it's it's, I'm telling you, the Japanese government have a psyop. They're trying to get people to come over to their country, except they're just picking the wildest influencers. The first thing I saw from Sneeko, he's like in Japan. And the next post I see that shows up in my For You, because Twitter For You dude. now is literally everything that I didn't care about seeing. Oh. It just gets force fed. And it's him in like a Japanese like ramen stall or some shit with like the the swastika, right? Except obviously every moron knows that the swastika in other countries like that isn't necessarily the Nazi swastika. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like if you go to India, you'll see a yeah, of yeah, them, yeah. right? Of course. So, so we're like, he's like, isn't this the most base country? I'm like, dude, come on now. Even you know that this looks fine. <laughs> now, he also like, I think his first tweet when he got to Japan, because again, I don't follow Sneeko, but I get all of his tweets on my For You page. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, he uh, he tweeted something like, wow, Japan is based. There are no gender neutral bathrooms. I'm like, I just do. don't think they care. <laughs> like, yeah, you can just least... walk into either or. <laughs> oh, God. The, he's... I don't know. He, he's a wild character. See, at least Aiden Ross, he's funny. Dude, Aiden Ross is funniest clip this week. His his sister shows this up to get on his screen. Oh my so, god! Man. Okay, so the so the oh clip I man. shared from the Drama Alert Twitter that was cut down. That was Somebody cut said, down. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, so he, he was like thirty seconds. It was like the image for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, like, okay, I, I'm so glad that that happened too. That is so. <laughs> because he, also, there was another clip really of fall. him. There was another clip of him where someone asked him, like, "What do I do? I accidentally saw like lewds of my sister and jacked off it." And he's like, "Dude, everyone's done that." that was oh his yeah, response. he did. Well, he did. He did say that. Yeah, he came out and said that that um like a while ago that he actually uh is done. He's like, "Oh no, don't worry about it. Everybody's done that before." Yeah. Dude, Which I, is an I, interesting. I, I, uh, what, like, what kind of sweet home Alabama shit am I hearing? Fill me <laughs> in on this lore real quick. What the? There was a clip. Uh, it was a while back. Uh, someone sent in a donation, you know, on how to react to it, and uh, he said, "Oh no, don't worry." And this girl was sitting next to him, and she was like, "Wait, what?" He was like, yep. "Yeah, you know, I, I've done it before. You know, uh, it's not a big deal." And then continued on. Dude, and isn't like, it we've so all weird? Been there. Isn't it so weird how Kick has now I become have. a website where like they have great talent like GM Hikaru on there? I cannot believe Hikaru's on Kick. That Hikaru's is so wild. That was wild last night. Because and he's that, he's like a legitimate wild. streamer. He's yeah. he's a legitimate a famous too. person. Good community too. Yeah. Good community, but more than that, he's uh he's one of the world's best chess players. Yeah. Right? He's uh yep. the best chess player at speed chess in the world. Like that that is a really legitimate person. That's and not like some dude that reacts to OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, more, Kick's actually kind more. of taken off more than I thought it ever would. Yeah. It really is. Well they got Hikaru, I heard like Asmund Gold and I heard like a I don't couple know other big gonna... names. Yeah, they're they're I, I, mean, I feel like they're... I feel like Kai Sinat might do it because you got yeah. those it's the w oh my God. That's the W, uh, the W community, man. If they start, yeah. uh, that's why one of the things I always thought was interesting with with Mixer, where a lot of people compare this to Mixer, I, I don't think it's even close. Is because you know Mixer, you had Ninja and Shroud, right? Just kind of focused on main games. It minus Shroud, Shroud's just awesome, right? But Ninja was uh, on Fortnite and kind of was it wasn't. You can never say dying because that man has done everything for the mainstream of all of gaming. So. Uh, but mm -hmm. he was like, you know, his popularity was kind of going down. Uh, completely different now where you're actually bringing in multiple communities. Now you bring in the chess community. If you bring in the W community, which is a new user base that has brought into Twitch recently, you know, now you're actually creating culture. Too. Yeah. And now you're bringing in like, you know, they always say, well, you can't buy culture. Well, now you're creating it kind of, you know, moving it over to another platform. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting also, to see what happens. Mixer, I think another big difference is Mixer had no, there's no reason to go to Mixer unless you had like that big deal. Kick gives you a much better split than Twitch. Mm -hmm. Like if yeah, Kick like, actually point, worked out, Kick is like, also there's no reason back not to too. go to Kick. Aside from the fact uh, that you know you're funding an illegal yeah. casino. Uh, morals aside, Kick is better. <laughs> kick, kick. The thing with Kick and the reason why I just said it was like creator backed is like the first thing you hear about Kick is like is you don't hear the casino. You hear like oh it train wrecks and like Aiden Ross yep. and a lot of those people. And for as many disagreements as I'll have with train wrecks or Aiden Ross. Um, 
at, at the end of the day, it's more recognizable. Like I'd rather stream on kick knowing that at least my peers are on there. You know what I mean? Like, actually I should exclude train wrecks. Like my, my talks with train wrecks anytime I've had it have always been better. Uh, never talked to Aiden Ross. Thank the Lord for that one. Anytime I've seen <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, and Aiden uh, talk, Aiden Ross, is he's, like, he's a lost sheep. <laughs> He'll have a redemption arc. He will. I, you'll see. Caleb, you, you need Dude, to, you need to, you need to clip? bring him over. Wait, we saw this. Ross. Yeah, you need to fire him with the tribute. You need to show them the trebuchet, dude. dude. <laughs> Aiden Ross bothers me a lot. Really? Oh, yeah, man. He's like, isn't he like 15 years old or something? He's, no. No, he, he's, I think he's 21. You, brother, you 20. wish he was 15. <laughs> Mentally, he's yeah. like a child. In, intellectually speaking, perhaps. He just but, seems uh, like such a young, just... It's cr- he's just like a he's a lost I mean, sheep. Yeah. How did you how do you get that much money and that much success with literally no substance at all? Uh, well, government psyop, dude. It's, 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 it it's a psyop. He's a psyop. <laughs> They're all <laughs> from psyop. Dude, Twitch is literally just a psyop. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's an MK Ultra again, bro. They're trying it to is. Play. I feel like I'm losing wild. my mind. Like spending time off the internet and then like going back on. I'm just, I just my mind is just fucking blown. I'm like that's mm-hmm. what that's what these people are. These people are psyops. There was no, it is wild really. that these are real people. It's wild yeah, Aiden, that they're real people. Aiden, there was a clip it he is. had to read what he didn't know what fascist was. Fascism. So he typed in fascist. He typed in fascist. He typed in fascist. Yeah, and he had to read it, and it took him about a half an hour to read the definition of fascist. Was, Dude, fascist. I, sh- I showed my mom that clip, and she's like, "Bro, come on, how can you not pronounce ultra nationalist?" <laughs> Have you guys seen uh, ultra nationalist? You mean? Have you guys <laughs> seen Pangria? Wait, what's Pangria? What? Pangria, pangria clip? It's the Pangria clip. It's uh, XQC scre- and Aiden Ross talking about Pangria. Please oh, screen no, share this to us. I actually haven't. No, um, you got I, you got to screen share that. If I'm you not sure I can even find it. I saw it on TikTok. But the the clip the clip is is XQC or Aiden is like asking about Pangria, and uh, and they're talking about the world and how like the world is Earth, and then how Pangria oh was a thing. And then uh, Pangea. it's Pangea. 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 I had no yeah, idea what you were talking XQC about. Even XQC is talking about Pang. They oh even he even God. says Pangria, and they're talking about how all the continents were were one at oh one point. Oh my lord! Um, oh my it's like second grade science, um, and they're both just. I mean, just. <sighs> <laughs> like drooling and breathing through their mouths. Pangria, 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 World Earth, Pangria. That that is so painful. Oh my god. Oh, I, I wow. got, it makes I me angry. It makes me angry. Stuff like that it's makes just me sad. mad. It's sad. That it's like, not sad at all. It's hilarious. Is what it really. I think is. I found it. I think I found it. Hold on. You found the Pangria clip. Pangria. I, I believe I did. Hold on. Let me find <laughs> it. It's, sa- <laughs> it's so sad. I don't know why I you mean, don't think it's sad. It's how legitimate. Is it sad. I it's mean, these people are millionaires. That, no, no, no. It's sad that there are people watching this. <laughs> Hopefully, That's... there are people watching it and laughing at them. Oh God! Yeah, I should leave because I, 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 I've, I, I'm actually like I, I actually really like XQC. I think he's very entertaining. Uh, just as a, as yeah, an entertaining is. standpoint. Uh, I think he's quiet. Well, yeah, he of course. I mean, they're both is. very entertaining, but yeah, they're, yeah. I mean, they're very stupid yeah. as well. <laughs> you can be entertaining and a fucking idiot true, true. at the same time. I'm sharing it. This, this might be the first time. I'm god. excited to see this. Yeah. Oh my god, this is it. Yeah. Right. The two greatest minds of our time. Do you live in the Big Bang Theory or Pangria? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Is what are these? That sounds like some what? World of yeah. Warcraft thing. It's where islands, like the whole world is an island, is that split into continents. The whole oh world or our planet? Oh. Our planet. The, the world, world or the planet? planet. The world. Well, one theory doesn't affect the other. <laughs> Beast! Beast! <laughs> Dude, oh my god! Dude, one, I, one theory doesn't affect the other. Bro, to be honest, I'm, 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 oh I'm, I, I should, dude. Oh god! Dude, I okay, I shouldn't have been to college. I shouldn't have went. Like, uh, it was a waste god. of time. So you dumb, just be dude. Dumb. So bro. fucking dumb, bro. Like, I can't oh believe god. it. Like it's genuinely this. It's hard to, unless they're trolling. They no, could no, no. very well be trolling. They're definitely not trolling. There's too many of them for it to be a troll. That's but, true. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, here's the wild thing. His question: Do you believe in the Big yeah, Bang yeah. Theory or? <laughs> What do you think if you had to ask him where humans came from? What do you? What would he say? They're moms. The oh, Big Bang uh, Theory. Heaven. It's when you squirt into a woman. 
That's and the primordial ooze. Dude, it, it was the stork, bro. The, the bird, he comes with the sack <laughs> yeah. and he drops you on. Yeah. That's where the humans came and then, from. Like, the, the, yeah, I, I would bet, honestly, Aiden Ross, he probably has a great understanding of symbolism because it's like that's how he can communicate is just by saying words and um, making sounds. No, Aiden Ross, I think, he's a professional at regurgitating words he heard in contexts that make no sense. You guys are shitting on Aiden Ross, but he's the only human being that can speak in web dings. So like, what the f bro? Come on now. Wing dings? Yeah, wing dings. Dings, He's the only human being like, yeah, you know when you do, you know when you're at the f***ing computer lab, I'm gonna switch to the flop that's all hieroglyphics. Bro, he reads that (laughs) shit. He's like, that's what F is, that's the G, that's, yeah, like, I'm looking at, yeah, I'm looking at my nice pictures. He communicates (laughs) with emojis. Yeah. Well, like, it's like, he, there, there's no way he thinks anything through. Like, did you see the clip of him saying t- to train Rex, hey, man, I was wondering, can men get raped? Yeah, did you see that I, clip? Oh, Dude, that I did was see a, Oh, I like, was actually that, watching that VOD. I was watching the VOD of that. train Rex did, was like, y- y-. that's like you said, Muda, like where train sometimes has to step in and be like, bro. Uh, you know, like Tra- train you know. is just like now. How do I? How do I walk? Like, this yeah. mind train is yeah. a father figure. Like how does yeah. man become a father figure? Dude, that that like that made me have more respect in train because train sitting over there. He's like, wow. I mean, normally anybody would have walked away from the computer, but now I gotta. Fin. He's like, and I, I gotta, gotta rein him in. And fi- yeah, like fix yeah. this. Train's the, very the, smart. Uh, very smart. Oh, he's smart. The thing about yeah, Aiden absolutely. is like, people are like, why do you keep giving him attention? Why do you talk about him? It's like, you got to understand, funny. not all attention is good attention, okay? We just played the Pangea clip. You can't expect us not to laugh <laughs> at it, all right? Like, it's oh, like... Yeah. I mean, why... <laughs> dude, why do you get it... Because, why do we give him attention? Because that's what we do. It's because like it's, our jobs. Yeah, because Literally it's... Literally our jobs. It's are hilarious. To be bad people. Also, yeah, exactly. Really yeah, both sides. And, and be hypocrites. <laughs> that's like the whole thing. Have you not fucking realized that yet, viewer? <laughs> No. You fool! Like, we are just as bad as all these other pieces of shit we talk about. If not worse. <laughs> if not worse. Because we pretend to be better. There no, we go. No, see, I, I can't... Okay, no, in some I aspects, we can... Pre- Listen, Caleb, we can pretend to be better because we ain't, we're we not excluding Big Bang and Pangea, okay? Like, <laughs> we might be stupid. Hey, I'll say I'm smarter we're, than we them. We can that we're smarter. I'm not better. Not better. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I'm way f- smarter than them for sure i i mean like the thing with the thing with like aiden and a lot of those guys is like they're like aiden to me he's like anytime he like platforms or does some stupid shit on the internet i do genuinely think it comes out of a place of actual like lack of intelligence i don't think he's a yeah. malicious kid that's the mm-hmm. thing right like yeah I agree you know with that. yeah he, he yeah. like everybody is like you know he he like he sits there he's like gonna bring kanye on and, and like he's got all these people who are like and yeah. basically shitting on him the entire time. I, I like to think that the kid is just... He's, Kanye he, had a great tweet this week, too. Or Instagram post oh, or whatever. Oh, yeah, because he oh, watched yeah. 21 Jump Street. He watched 21 <laughs> Jump Street. Dude, he likes Jews now. Dude, if I we could it was go, only me. Dude, if we could go back... I know, dude. If we could go back in time and show a certain dude from, like, in Germany that video, bro, the world would be in a different yeah, place. Yeah, 21 Jump Street. Bro. My name is Jeff. I, I saw that Kanye thing, and I'm like... This guy's not real. Like he's no, just this like, is not he's, real like he's not like a this this, this is, is like troll. every time I see Kanye, I think I think of like GTA for a minute because like just yep. a parody of like Saints society. Row. Yeah. It's Saints Row. Exactly. It's like another level. But dude, that's like Twitter these days. Like, you know, GTA has like fictional internet that you can like read like shit like fictional websites on. I think most social media now is just GTA parody internet. Cause sometimes I go onto it and it's like, dude, a national tragedy can happen. Like, fucking, I don't want to bring up what happened, like, a couple days ago. One tragedy yeah. happens, and the entire internet's so worried about which side is wrong. And I'm like, damn, dude. You know, like, in 10 years ago, we used to be like, damn, this is a bad event that happened. Let's mourn. Now it's just like, all right, boys, the battle lines have been set, I guess. Ex- Better exactly. fucking... No mourning anymore. It's sad. It's sad. Yeah, it really is sad. It, it, but, I, but, like, a lot of that comes down to the fact that I think most people of today's day, day and age are, like, born and raised on the internet. We come from an era where it's, like... The internet showed up and we started getting into it in like our later years. Like we had a childhood. We had like a time to grow up and be normal human beings. Now we can f*** ourselves over. Because I do notice like a big disconnect between our like age group and some of the newer creators who are like, they've been on the internet since, in, you know, to the day they were born. You know what I mean? Mommy and daddy gave them a f***ing iPhone and that's how the whole story Literally started. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like they're completely different f***ing people. Like if you talk to like us, I'm not saying like we're... We're better. At the end of the day, we're we're shit human beings too. We we have our own flaws, but like in 
I, I'll be real, man. The internet was a lot different. Nowadays, I feel like every site now is like a fucking 4chan thread, like a 4chan board, like just terminally online connected people screaming into the void, you know? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Talking to like people who live in the real life a lot, who, who actually live in the real world a lot over the last couple of weeks, definitely need to do that more for sure. I th- Twitter's I th- a bad place. I it, think, it really is. I like, think there uh, should you be, get desensitized yeah. to it, but yeah, you know. there should be a rule like after after you're done uploading your video, just like turn off your computer and walk outside. That's what I do, dude. As soon as the video is uploaded, bro, I just shut down the computer and I leave. I'm like, that's that's the the internet for today, you know? Like, call it done. <laughs> um, but social media is a really shitty thing. Like, sometimes I do want to sign onto it periodically just so I don't miss like a really like stupid thing just so I don't miss the Aiden Ross clip. You know, honestly, it's the only yeah, reason I sign on to the internet, you know, like it's <laughs> so it, true. Like, uh, I, I don't know if you saw uh, There was this clip of Sneeko saying that Aiden Ross is so cool. He's so based. He works out. He does all things. There's just one problem. He's Jewish and inevitably he's going to join the Illuminati. Did you see that clip? I did not, I did see, not that, see that, but that. you know, I, I believe it. Like it's one of those things like given Sneeko's character, I can absolutely see it 100% through. I can even yeah. hear it. I can. I'm watching the VOD right now in my imagination. It's already. It's already rendered out in my head. You know that's how it is, dude. But the thing is, like, I wonder what's going to happen like ten years from down the road when like Sneeko realizes, oh shit, I've been doing dumb. I'm, I'm making dumb tweets all the time. I'm making dude, dumb posts. I, I don't know what his future is going to look like. It is so sad. I get I think nervous when I'm going to finish. I get nervous when I'm going to be done. You know, concentrate. I mean, I have a marketing background. I'll probably do consult. You know, different things like that. I can only imagine, you know, like when that all ends, you know, for some, especially in that scenario, what do you do after that? You yeah, know, but you see, the you difference can... is you could walk outside, okay? That's, Sneeko that's would have a hard time walking outside in a normal society. Like, could yeah. you imagine someone being the person that he is, getting into a normal relationship? Bro, I would never be with a guy that couldn't do donuts in his car. I'm just saying, bro. That fucking <laughs> clip sent me to the moon, dude. When I saw him in, like, the car, like, doing, like, donuts, like, basically turning right or left or whatever, like, a couple times, I'm like, That was dude. the saddest flex I've ever seen. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of sitting over there. I'm like, dude buys a fucking Hellcat, f***s up his tires, and forgets to turn off the traction control in the car. Like, bro, that was a one clip where my dad was the one that mentioned it. Like, we, I showed him that clip, and my dad's like, How's this moron gonna figure out how to turn off all these assists? Like you, can, like my dad is literally screaming at the television. He's like, "That's not how you do a donut." My dad, who's like, he's the one that's screaming. He's like, "I know how to do donuts." He looks at me and he's like, "Somebody teach this man how to drive a fucking motor vehicle." I'm like, "Dad, he can't hear you. It's the internet." Okay. <laughs> You got a comment there. He was he's actually hear yelling you. at the TV as you had it on there. Yeah, he's like, he like looks at it like, what is he doing? He's f***ing up his tires. It's a nice car. He's ruining it. I don't get it. It's like, what's that? that is, yeah, well, what here. color is your dad's Hellcat, huh? He's going to say, yeah, he's, he's going to mention that. But like, that's it. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's just the funniest f***ing thing about it too. With him, Aiden and all these guys, they'll probably grow up out of it. They probably will, but I hope it's yeah. not too soon. Because that clip that Caleb just told us about in oh, that's Pangea, gold. That's gold. Dude, I don't want to lose moments like that on the and internet. And it's also harmless. <laughs> that is harmless gold. Bro, mm-hmm. that is that is like flat earth tier levels of The hilarious. very nature <laughs> of it, too, is good. It's it's honestly probably the like less than harmless. It's probably good because yeah, it's uh, – People because will learn like, about Pang- Pangrea. <laughs> well, people are – it just says the two geniuses of our time, and it's like a subtle – you know, it's thing sarcasm, of actually. Just making fun of these two idiots, right? And I, then people I, can laugh at them and realize, oh, these yeah. are these are really stupid people. It's like one of those things where, like, you don't even have to like can show the misinformation to counter the misinformation. This is just like a fucking yeah. check for how stupid you actually are. You know, nah, it's, it's a like check. mate, bro. It's not yeah. just a check. It's not even like pre-algebra, right? Like, it's not even, like, something that's, like, a skill. It's Bro, just something geometry, you... geometry, dude. Come on. We're going or, too it's just far. something or anyone anything. would know if they lived in the, you know, on if our they, planet. If you are on Earth, you are on Earth. You are on Earth. There, there are people who do not have access to education who know that. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I, 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 lo- I love how, like, when Caleb... you say it, and your face, too, is so serious. I, I love how yeah. guttural it sounds, too. Like, it's yeah. not even, like, a joke. He's just, like, these... <laughs> no, 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 it's not a joke. <laughs> I mean, it's like there's uh, there's people who think the world is six thousand years old who know of Pangea and the Big Bang Theory. I really feel like your next video you know? should be going to the local university, renting out a lecture hall, and just like going over clip by clip, 
you know, you dress up as a professor and shit and just explaining the most basic concept. And then you can like intertwine it with clips of like the seven people that walk into your class that are just like, so what's this dude talking about? Pang? You could just literally write common sense class, common sense lecture. People come, you literally, you could have like a cheetah, like a big ass photo of a cheetah or something, right? And then like a cheeto next to it and play the XPC clip. This is a cheetah. <laughs> this the is cheetah. a cheetah. <laughs> Commonly, they're commonly conflated. People often mistake one for the other. You can have like a whole PowerPoint slide too with like the covering each fact about yeah. it. The nutritional value of a Cheeto versus a Cheetah. Where did the Earth come from eight and a half billion years ago? Was it the Big Bang Theory or Pangrea? We're going to teach you how two theories cannot be mutually exclusive. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, which one do you believe in, though? You have to choose one to believe in now. Pick one, bro. This yeah, is your ideology. And these this are the people that whenever they talk on. to someone, they're like, okay, so what do you stand for? Well, I stand for believing that the world <laughs> was never, <laughs> was Pangria. And that it's, yeah. it's not a contradiction to the that, big that, That's a funny, if your pink sauce came in, you could literally have a whole, like, uh, segment where, like, and you just put like pink sauce on your desk and it's like anybody that actually wants to try this come up and give it a whole spoonful come give and, it a lick and as soon as they do it you're like so you just don't care about living i see you, you don't really give care it a lick. about your fun do you know what botulism is <laughs> Dude, I dude, I swear, when I made the video on that, bro, everyone was a fucking FDA god on like oh, my yeah. goddamn comment section. I love it's that. Crazy. I love that shit about YouTube. That's what everything. You, every time, yeah. Anytime you cover a video topic, and fucking the lawyers come experts. out, the <laughs> yeah. FDA experts come out. Well, fucking, actually, yeah. Um, like the dude's like, I work at a nuclear research facility, and I'll tell him like, okay, <laughs> motherfucker. You know. His name is like Gasfart Thirty Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then he comes in. It's like uh, I, I've worked at a nuclear plant for the last twenty years, and I can tell you right now. I'm like, first off, I know that's a fucking lie. You ain't watching my video if you have two decades yeah, exactly. of nuclear experience. I was at Reactor Four in Chernobyl. Yeah. It's, like, it's like it's like you get like he was like oh as an attorney working in high profile uh, cases regarding drug. I'm like, ain't no fucking attorney coming here to watch. Excuse me, I have off. contracted a highly contagious case of pangria myself. <laughs> Yeah. I've seen all four seasons of Narcos. Yeah, exactly. You're like you'll have to wonder. It's like as a former Navy SEAL and a de- like, you know, okay, but like uh, former I'll, Navy I'll, SEAL. <laughs> yeah, as somebody that's that worse, dude. There's so many motherfuckers. It's like that's not even like a joke. Like, and nowadays they'll do the up thing where it's like then they'll be like as a japanese person i worked at joxa and i'm like okay no no i no. see i can't even fact check that if i wanted to like i don't even know the avenue of doing it like all the and the experts come out for the dumbest videos too it's like you like i'll make what like i'll make the botulism point and then like every fda person will be like well as somebody with three decades of medical experience and gets i'm like okay Clearly, all right, I, listen, I went on, and I'll just say it, I'm like, dude, I went onto Wikipedia, I read what was there, I, I even clicked on a little source blurb, just so I can get the extra, fa- like, this is from a Gov website, okay, I'm just gonna yeah, listen. I find it wild when, like, these comments, like, a lot of people listening, they're probably like, okay, listen, it's not annoying, so this guy, maybe he is, maybe he really is a guy that, you know, worked in a nuclear reactor, okay, who knows? From our perspective, these are the people that say, you are spreading misinformation, and you should write the record, Okay. You have to write the wrong that you've committed by lying about botulism. I'm like, dude, I, I, sometimes you'll come... Dude, this is why I don't get into any medical-related shit. Because anytime you talk about anything medical-related, everyone's a f***ing virologist. Everyone's an mm. FAD. Everyone's just, like, been trained, yeah. you know? Like, everyone's got, like, a degree. <laughs> and I, I, sometimes I'm like, damn, maybe I'm the only idiot on the internet. Everyone <laughs> here's got, like, a medical degree and a half. I'm just... And sitting over here, shit posting. Mm-hmm. Christ, dude. Well, I've and, watched The Last of Us, so I know a thing or two about mushrooms. <laughs> dude, that that whole fucking dude, that that whole like, <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest. I, I think The it's Last good. of Us is the most overrated shit that I've ever seen. Dude, I, bro. I fucking hated it, dude. It's so fucking over. Every time somebody it's tells so overrated. me everyone's like it's such an emotional thing i'm like dude i felt more emotion out of halo not the tv show no no no, not that no the game all right well, yeah, I felt more. Easily, yeah caleb yeah. felt well, I mean, more emotion you watching get halo. halo theme you get a halo theme it's just hate like, is an emotion yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. The, the i thing love that... pedro pascal too and like the mandalorian's good and narcos is good but 
and he's man, great. I just, great in Game was, of Thrones. He, he's a great yeah, actor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Oberyn Martell. Like it's so yeah. hard yeah. to. Ober I don't Martell. know why I didn't like uh, the Last of Us. <laughs> the first episode was pretty good. I was like, "Ooh, this is going to be exciting," and then it just. Now, I wa- I watched like yeah, uh, like three episodes really of it so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not like hooked on it per se. Like a lot uh, of the yeah. emotional moments, I didn't really. Uh, I, I found them very very predictable. Like, yeah. I just don't yeah. care too much about like The Last of Us. I just hear so much about Same. it, and it's like everyone's like, it's this great epic story, and it's supposed yeah. to make you feel really sad. I'm like, dude, I, it's a little like, girl in it. Yeah, Who like, cares, I mean, dude. At, the, at the end of the day, like I played both the games, and I watched some of the show, and I'm like, dude, I just don't see what the hype is all about. Like, yeah, I'm even good. even the video game, it's like it's just like a f-ing movie game. Like you play it once, it was, it's and then you'll game. talk to me. I play yeah. through Last of Us. Yeah, you'll find people that I play through Last of Us ten times. I'm like, why? <laughs> like, what? What was? What was I, so I never cool? understand like, that. With the, I, I get the different ending, you know, but I could never do it. It's just like I feel like I watch the one movie, you know, and that's it, you know, mm-hmm. and, I, and I'm done. Yeah, it's like it's like the God of War stuff. Like everyone jerked that game off, and I'm just sitting over there. I'm like, dude, I don't get it. Like it's it's cool. Like he cuts shit up, but you know, I didn't even have the yeah, time really to finish it. it. I'm like, I, do, I just don't I think care. it's I think it's just PlayStation brain rot. It kind of is. It, it, it really. Yeah. I never really played the Last like of Us game, and I never played God of War either. I at some point I'd like to, but it's Bro, just so back to the console wars. I feel like those, us Xbox gamers, dude, are some just of the, superior. Some of those PlayStation games, bro, they last like any game that lasts more than seventy hours or, or fifty hours. At this point, I'm like, I'm done, dude. I got shit to do. Like, like what about Red Dead Two? Did you play that? I played that all the dude. I beat that the weekend dude, I it came out. That I, game. I have yet to play it. I just know it's long. I know it's long, so I've been waiting and still waiting many so, years. Now, you know. It's long, but so the weekend that game came out, like I, oh. so I didn't give a shit about Red Dead a lot because I played the first one oh. and I was like, oh, cool, whatever, Red Dead 2. Like, it's the next Rockstar game. I'm going to give it a play. I love Rockstar games. Bro, the weekend that came out, I beat the fucking, I got all the way to the epilogue. I finished it all the way through. And yeah. bro, I was, I, I like, I was detached from the internet. I didn't do shit. And then I signed on to Twitter and people are like still f-ing around in the snow section in the beginning. I'm like, dude, I don't know what to tell you guys. I had an emotional journey playing this game, dude. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it's, 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 you. it's great. It's like the best movie ever. Like yeah. in the way that it's how interactive it is and how, how much you can build your character up. Mm-hmm. Even though it's in a pre-existing character, he's got his own voice lines and stuff. Yeah. I feel like it's more personal than any than any of the uh, uh, like created character games where you're you're like oh they leave them silent so you can make your own story mm-hmm. like and it that's supposed to be all immersive and stuff. But th- this I feel like that game Red Dead Two is such a f- good game that it's just the, the thing about that game that really hits game too. Sense. It's like everything is super handcrafted. It's not like those f- in, like movie games where it's like. Again, one of the games I was super excited for was this like Horizon game for the PlayStation. Didn't yeah. give a fuck about yeah, it because Horizon. it was like once you get like the 500 quest where it's like collect 20 flowers in this one region. Yeah. I'm like, I'm done, dude. I'm out, dude. I'm not. I'm not doing no fucking. I'm not doing these like Maple Story Runescape yeah. tier quests. I'm, this yeah, is supposed Come to be on. the next fucking generation. Yeah, I'm so, pushing to be 30, honest, bro. I ain't got time for puzzles that shit. in general. That that that's just to make games longer. I feel like it doesn't. Oh, yeah. it is. Yeah, it's to make them play. To make people play them longer. It's yeah. like you want sure. someone to spend thirty hours fun, playing yeah. a game and twenty of those hours collecting daffodils and. Uh, I, well, I mean, I will that's, say that's the amount MMOs. of time. That's MMOs too. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I just, I've never that's been everything. able to play MMOs. But like uh, Red Dead, one thing about Red Dead that is annoying is the uh, how long it takes to like do stuff, like get off your horse and like. That, that that's kind of annoying, but at the same time, it's quite immersive. But after seventy hours, it gets a little bit old. It does. To be honest, Th- that's why. Like in some ways, I just love GTA a lot because sometimes I'll load up GTA yeah. not for the story, but I just like driving around the city because it's, it's like yeah, it's like there's it's not a really game. any other game like it. I just kind of like yeah. enjoying that kind of. And shit. And the story is so good in GTA too, dude. Like yeah. Rockstar is like I don't even know GTA Six. I'm so excited for it. Just GTA 6, I'm ready, and I can. I like that's why. Like the thing is, people are like they're never gonna make it. I'm like, are you fucking brain dead? You know, you they're think they're gonna, gonna miss out on billions of dollars and another GTA Online to fucking mm-hmm. monetize? Get the fuck. dude. Even if they, they pull do. a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and release a half finished game, they will make their billions. Oh yeah, uh, I, I have, but a, the I have thing a question is, even about the GTA. Shit this when you guys are done. Go ahead. I have a question because I, I no, no, know you guys are into it. Uh, for GTA Five, I you know uh, I put, but for multiplayer, what is the point of multiplayer? I went in one time, I saw like people were cheating. It was just crazy, and then that was it. Everybody yeah, always says play uh, play GTA it, multiplayer. It's what, just what is a, the point? It's just like, an MMO the, thing. Like 
like me and my buddies, like not so much anymore, but years ago when it came out, it was fun to just, it was the only game where you could get into a lobby and just drive around and like blow shit up and like race and like do missions. That's the appeal of it, right? Like if you love the GTA experience, the whole point is to get with your friends and do missions and all that stuff. Obviously now it's pretty much been run by hackers and shit. And that's pretty yeah. much where it's at. Same well, with Red Dead Online. I mean, Red Dead Online has just been abandoned, bro. That's a ghost yeah. town <laughs> i mean it's been like that for years <laughs> for, since terrible. launch yeah pretty much yeah. like they've abandoned that fucking game but the thing with like uh, a lot of those exp- like and that's one of the reasons why those like role play experiences for gta are so popular because it just lets people like come together and do shit like i've never been able to do those role play servers because i'm like bro i ain't filling out job applications to play fucking taxi driver on your game session okay it's not happening <laughs> But you like, don't want to play pretend? No, no, God no. But th- <laughs> there's some funny it? shit. Like there was a no. I, see, I want to get into the fun stuff. Like, okay, there there's different levels of it, right? So there are two videos that instantly hit my head when I think of GTA like role play shit. One of them is XQC's lawsuit. He went to court in the video game. Had a whole yeah. fucking legal team. They were having oh. like fucking, it was a lawyer session in GTA. And then the other one was like Summit One G. He was in a fucking, like, what, 30-minute police chase with actual other... And the other cops, they weren't, like, players. They were, like, 10-4 driving down La Puerta yeah. Speedway. Like, we've got to... Yep. We've got to... Mm-hmm. Like, they were referring to the car. I'm like, damn, these guys are, like, really fucking into it. They're in, like... Like, they've got... They're in a Discord call, and they got, like, a dispatcher and, like, fucking everything. I'm like, dude, <laughs> they this is insane it's cool. levels it's cool. of roleplay. Yeah. yeah. It's cool to see that, but it's like, man, I, I, I don't have the mental capacity to jump into something from the beginning. And like work thirty hours for that thirty minutes of fun, you know, like that whatever. Maybe you have too much mental capacity. Have you ever thought of that? Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe it's just like I'm lacking the time thing. And it's one of the things you said about MMOs. It's like they're they're a grind. And I've always been like, bro, unless I was a streamer and I was like Asmongold and I could have the ability to just sit and play a video game, that's the only way that I could play an MMO these days. Because like I tried getting into some of them, but I'm like, dude, unless you have forty hours a week to fucking throw away, yeah, you dude, ain't. I loved shit. MMOs back dude. in the day. I, I love like the did. whole genre, but I just don't have time. I'd love to feed Asmund Golden Apple through a fence. Really? You do? Yeah. yeah. Asmund Gold's gonna. Asmund Gold's gonna. Actually, Asmund, actually, Asmund he, Gold is, is my favorite streamer. I think uh, he's a he's really done, good dude, honestly. Yeah. yeah from he's what he's very done from smart too. Very. That's why. That's very why I, I enjoy his takes on a lot of things. Genuinely, his reactions. very intelligent guy. It seems like. Yeah. Agree. That's why. That's why he's my favorite. And I played WoW a long time, so anybody who could make that WoW that interesting while playing it consecutively for many years, yeah. along with other games, is just uh, big respect in my books. So. Yeah, yeah. I I think he's probably my like. He's probably the the one streamer that uh, I really like have aside from Critical. Obviously, he's a streamer. I don't really count him as a streamer much, but um, yeah, those fair. two dudes. Mm-hmm. I feel like they both have like massive, massive respect and deserved respect. Too. Mm-hmm. Agree, definitely agree. They're they're, uh, like they're they they set themselves apart. And generally, when I hear about like Twitch and like when anytime I see a Twitch, they're always like so detached from it. I think I look yeah. at Asmund Gold more of a YouTuber to be honest cuz he's been Same. in my recommendations when anything like cuz he like reacts to something within like 20 minutes so it's like he's there. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he, generally, he reacts to everything as it drops. Yep. You I just have the same yeah. exact video on YouTube 20 minutes later with his face in the, the corner. The thing is, I exclude Asmongold a little bit from like the general reaction cringe meta because he, he like does add, Caleb says, you know? he he really is a smart guy. Like he's his a smart insights, guy. Yeah. like yeah. he'll react yeah. to a 20 minute video and his reaction will be 30 minutes. You know, but, it, it's but, but like it'll be full of to... insights too. Like yes, based yes, on yes, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. insightful. Was a lot. That's very insightful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen him a lot. Like when during the Amber Heard stuff. I was like, dude, you're beating a dead horse. What is going on here? Like the first time. And then I watched it and I was like, oh, you're actually adding to this. You're yeah. actually providing information for people. See, and, and that's and- the difference between uh, – like a lot of people say like um, all React streamers are the same. And they're really yeah. not. You know, like uh, I don't know. Uh, Meat Canyon just made a video about Sneeko, right? Sneeko mm-hmm. and uh, – what's his face? And every Charlie, React yeah. streamer on the planet watched that video, right? And it was really funny. Now – I watched a few of their reactions on it. Some of them, the joke, like the Me Canyon video will make jokes and they will not even like laugh at the joke. Yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't want to make fun of Hassan here, a friend of the show, but like he reacted. <laughs> friend of the show, Hassan friend, Piker. Friend of the show. But he watched this freaking Meat Canyon video and like there were jokes, you know, like there was the joke of uh, Sneeko saying, hey, 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 can you and my girlfriend please leave the room because hey, I, I'm, I'm scared, right? Because his girlfriend was having sex with some other guy yeah. in the yeah. bed behind him. And they both go, oh, sorry, Sneaky, sorry, Sneaky. And they leave the room, right? Like Hassan's just sitting there. Like he doesn't smile. He doesn't laugh. He was just sitting there when that happened. And I was like, 
what what is going on and then he pauses the video and he's like hey why does it say el hassan in the chat on the meat canyon <laughs> video and i'm like he does okay. what he does what everyone and he like that, pauses it. yeah that was literally half his reaction was making fun of how like i'm always catching strays and then he just plays the rest of it you know it's it like, sounds like typical twitch streamer like myself too. but like so but even then it's like, like when he says catching that's strays he doesn't that, he doesn't that, realize that sneeko's chat probably has that as a default right like they do that oh, for yeah, everyone that they're the against bot, right just like, auto every 30 seconds yeah. the bot like, says el hassan yeah exactly <laughs> the bot's gonna be like oh lost on avi oh l3 l3 and like all those guys we're not gonna like he, that's a that's a joke you got to pick up on like if you watch more than like five minutes of like a sneeko chat you know but that's that's the thing that sucks too because it's like everyone will react to it but very few people will have like the i feel like if you're going to react to something you should have like a best in interest in that topic you know what i mean yeah, like yeah, i would I make a reaction video to something like if you ask me what i would make a reaction video to i'd make reaction videos to like those defcon hacking tournaments that happen because those are really fun to watch like if you know what you're looking for because from the outside looking in people are like oh it's just boring looking at these guys do like fucking you know exfiltration all this shit and i'm just sitting over there i'm like oh wow this is this is the cool point so that would be like you know if i'm gonna react to something it's gonna be something where like i, I feel like i can act to the whole situation yeah i, I do the you same know. thing when i'm reacting to something on stream it's something i feel like i could talk about i can add to it i can make it a yeah. discussion or a conversation or even just add comedy or something like that yeah. um like the amber just, hurt stuff yeah like i couldn't yeah. I, I didn't make any video to it because i'm like i had no interest in any of the you know johnny depp amber hurt stuff because i i didn't even know what it was about i had no idea the stakes into it and honestly i didn't mm -hmm. care about any celebrity related stuff either so anytime that stuff kind of yeah. happens i'm like i'll see the end verdict but i'm not going to sit here for like three hours and watch the fucking like deliberations in a courtroom because uh, yeah. i just don't have the time i just don't my care. mom got me in, interested in that one i was like completely uh just i didn't really give a shit at all and then my mom called me and told me about a bunch of stuff and i was like interesting and i looked it up and then uh that got me into it and then i started to and that that's also saw uh asmund gold's videos on it and i was like interesting this is really 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 uh sad like this is a yeah, really, really sad yeah. it's a crazy thing that's happening right now so I felt like it would be cool to make a video on it. But that's why it's better because you can just watch the some of the reaction guys who care about that stuff and then you can see them mm -hmm. condense the three-hour deliberations. Maybe extend it to like, you know, a six-hour reaction video, but at least like you'll learn every bit of context you've ever needed from that one location, you know? Um, but that's just kind of the thing. It's like, it, it's super weird to me because every time like a YouTuber will make a banger video, like I, I see so many Caleb videos now where it's not even like Oompaville made the video or like any of your channels. It's always like, oh, here's a streamer and then reacting to like the biggest TikTok creep that we found or some shit. I'm like, damn. It's like they completely kind of like <laughs> threw Oompaville out of the algo just so I could watch the reaction channel, which yeah. has always been the yeah. main point of contention. It, dude, it, it's pretty funny. Uh, I made a video on this dude, Paul Breach, who's like this fucking creepy guy on TikTok. He, there's, yeah. It's a massive, weird rabbit hole. And uh, uh, it got like a million views or 1.5 or something like that. And Critical reacted to it. And it's like 5 million views. <laughs> yeah, I saw that actually. And I was like, yeah. oh, that's awesome. That's great. It's good, though. I, I feel honored by it because it's like I've done that to people right. before. I've stolen their shit, reacted to it, um, and tried to add to it. And, and he added a lot to it. Yeah. Uh, but it's just, it's like, it's such a bizarre thing to be in that, in that position now and have people react to stuff that I do. It's, it's weird. It feels well, I, got, I, I don't care at all. I got a question since that's been happening, mm. uh, happening to you. Have you ever been like genuinely mad at that or do you, or are you always no. happy about it? Never been mad. I, I've anytime anyone mentions me or you like it, I do not care at all. Mm. I'm a public figure. You can say whatever you want, do whatever you want. You can literally steal my ideas, and I will not care. If you take my thumbnails and then edit them, uh, I find it funny. There's a lot of people that do that. Like when I, when I did the Nick Akato video with him sitting outside of Taco Bell, um, me and my, my buddy Duncan spent like a long time on that thumbnail, and so many people just stole it and like put themselves in it or just like barely changed it around. I would personally never do that to someone else's thumbnail, but – um, seeing people do it to mine, I was like, okay, this is something that's like resonating with these goobers and they're making content on it. Like it's just, it, it's, it's at, at the, at the absolute worst, yeah. it's just funny. 
And at the best, it's it's cool. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Like if people react you know. to my videos, I'm totally cool about exactly. it because I'm not worried about like gaining or losing any traction because it doesn't matter. Like it's like I'm not yeah. like a 200k channel anymore, so it's like yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Like I actually yeah. like it's humbling if somebody watches it. I'm like, yeah, oh, that's I, I really love when cool. people react to my videos. To be honest, what about when people talk shit when they disagree that's with you? The, that's the only time I've ever. So like the next question applies to me. The only time I've ever been genuinely pissed off at somebody was XQC. So this is back during Valorant. Oh, I remember right? so that. They made, the, they made oh, so they this. made a right. so they made an anti cheat thing for Valorant. Still up Vanguard, and I made a video where I talked about Ring Zero kernels and like I made an educational video. I really did. I was like, I'm gonna throw my hat into the ring. I'm gonna tell you why this is weird. Why you shouldn't install something like this. XQC watches the video, reacts to it, and just like puts it on times two speed. Doesn't listen to a single technical thing I mention, and he says that I'm jealous because I can't get a key for Valorant. I'm like, shut the up all right like you didn't even spend the seconds to like the it was on 2x speed i literally i literally made the video so that parts could understand it i made the video so like so actual parts could watch it and educate themselves okay and then you know the thing that pisses me off the chief card couldn't figure it out so i'm like so the whole point of the video has failed and then he's already shitting on me which is like it pisses me and then like you're gonna call me jealous for not getting a key to a video game suck my Felix, okay? Especially Valorant. Uh, I, exact. I made a Dude, video Valorant? trying to educate, and he's saying that I'm like fear monger. I'm like, point one incorrect statement. You know how many fucking dumb bullshit, like wannabe fake ass engineers made like videos reacting to mine who couldn't refute what I was saying? They're like, if you watch the some ordinary gamer video, he is fear mongering, and I'm going to show. I'm like, <laughs> try discounting one fucking thing that I've said, okay? You can't. All right. You're just going to be like this. Even the developers weren't doing anything okay they, they were they couldn't nobody could like it was a factual video and then like because an xqc and i'm gonna say it right like it is the dude's probably getting paid by riot or some shit to promote the game because here's the fun red pill fact for you watching if your favorite streamer is playing the flavor game of the month they're probably getting paid okay simple as that. if they're playing it earlier than release they're getting paid so he has a vested interest in it and that's the only thing there's any time xqc gets mentioned and do it like i can never take that guy seriously and i can never be I, I like at the end of the day like i don't even go like if we hate each other till the ends of time i'm totally cool with that i don't like xqc i think he's a fucking idiot and i think like he cannot like <laughs> bro i'm sitting there working for two days on a video like researching a topic and you can't spend five minutes to use your own fucking, like synapses to fire off your own brain cells and try to understand something and then you're going to shit on the person for it yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Eat my fucking ass, okay? I don't, oh, I don't load up. Any, I don't load up another engineer's video, and I'm like, this guy's a fucking retard, and I'm not putting yeah. in the effort to like actually understand what they're saying, okay? That's the that's the thing that burns me, okay? Like, you I'm should out, start doing that. I'm out here researching something. I'm out here doing something. This guy, this guy, like, literally free boots the video. And I mean, I could fucking copyright claim it if I wanted to, but I'm not a little bitch. I'm not gonna fucking do that. Go ahead. But uh, the thing that just pisses me off, it's like, you're going to watch the whole, you're not going to watch half the video at 2x speed, okay? This is how, this is the lack of brain activity that happens. Watch a 12 minute video at 2x speed, half of it, not even get to the, not even like properly consume at all, and then just shit talk the guy. And then like the funniest thing is, it's like, you'll still have like an even dumber group of people in the chat who are like WXQC. I'm like, all right, well, this is just. And like this is just this is just a whole like community of like inbreds at this point so i might as well just back out of it <laughs> Dude, it's that like rant. the only reason the only reason i can give xqc some slight credit is because of nationalistic pride because he's a fellow canadian other than that oh, that's okay. right. the dude that's is true. a yeah, fucking walking idiot to me okay like the dude is what like the, the the dude like if i see him in real life it's not going to be one of those scenarios where it's like oh man you're you're one of my peers i'm gonna fucking stay away from that okay like at this point i'm like dude i don't want to be in the same fucking room because i'll feel i'll get stupid I'll, i'm gonna this is a man that is so fucking intellectually vapid that i feel like it's a it's like an std like i'll catch on to it at some point and i'll be a fucking dribbling idiot yeah that's one of the reasons i stay out of it <laughs> oh like fucking God. drives me insane with oh, it man this was probably like top it. five muda rants <laughs> wow. of all I like time. That. 
I, I just, I'm on like, board. I, I would, I'm on board. Dude, I, I would have respect for, like, this is why I respect Aiden Ross more than XQC, because I feel like if Aiden Ross whoa, watched my whoa, video, whoa, if, whoa, if, whoa, if, whoa, if, whoa, if, whoa, if, whoa, if Aiden, I feel like if Aiden watched the Valorant video, he would genuinely try to understand it. This is like something I mean, I don't think he would understand it, but he wouldn't shit on you for it. Aiden is very realistic about the fact that he knows next to nothing about anything. Yes. He doesn't, he's not a pretender. Aiden's not a pretender. He he's a he's definitely an idiot, and he's definitely he's, mentally he's, handicapped. He's, he's leaning into that. <laughs> my poor fellow Twitch peers, dude, just getting roasted right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, Joey Bagel, we're just going down, down bro. Bro. Oh, just Getting roasted, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Rip. Yeah, poor Nags stays away from drama. <laughs> should, should I expose what Nags yeah. did? The fr- the I met him like in uh, in Staten Island uh, a year or sure. two ago. Two years ago, uh, and, uh, it's the funniest thing. So I'm like, I'm driving in to the restaurant that we were meeting at. I park the car and I see Nags walking up to some <laughs> random guy and talking to him. Right, so very obvious Jewish fellow is just talking to him. I'm like, okay, I leave the car. I'm like, oh, Nags. He was like, yeah, I just walked up to that guy and I said, are you nuts? <laughs> and he looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> he looked at me. He was like, what? I was like, are you? You Nux? Nux? <laughs> and he was like, no. I was like, all right. Uh, and then, oh, yeah, it was, uh, it was really weird. That was That's a good moment. Funny. I like that moment. <laughs> Just, that was a good moment. Yeah, I was 100%. a good, that was a good night. It was awesome meeting Nux, man. Oh, it was a great Nux night. Nux is genuinely That was really my good favorite dude. part. Really no, I'm joking, dude. I'm joking. <laughs> dude, it's, uh, bro, it's, a, I don't know, man. That XQC shit, like, sucked all the energy out of me. <laughs> dude, <laughs> poor man. Bro, Bro, I couldn't believe that was wild. Yo, that was man, wild to listen like, to. Went off for ten minutes. Wild. I, I, I think I'll like. I, I can honestly like. I'll forget all about it if he just watched the video again and gave it an honest like view. Like that would be the only thing. If he like, if he actually tried understanding what I said, <laughs> so he's got to go back I'd to that done. old Valorant video. Go back he has to the old yes! Valorant video. Yes! He has to pull he's that Valorant video yeah! up and then actually watch <laughs> yes! it. That's what he, that will make. That will put an end to to everything. And That'll put cool. an end to it. Like if he just. If he'd like, bro, I, bro, I like researched onto it. I gave my insights. Just only listen to it once. Come on, that's, that's all I care. That's all. That's all that matters to me. Uh, I was, like funny. I've never had an issue with any reaction stuff like that. But god damn, that one f-ing time, that just that one moment. Just, ugh, it, it, that that's the only thing that rubs me the wrong way. I love the YouTube video for it. I have it on my bookmarks. It's just filled with comments roasting. And I'm like. Yeah, dude. But at least it, YouTube was it, was refresh it, it every day. What, so. what hit more that he didn't pay attention, or was it the two times speed? It was. He wasn't paying attention. I expected him to two x speed. I, yeah, dude, yeah. if there was a ten x speed option on YouTube, every streamer would slap onto it. Come on, bro. Good point. Like that. that yeah. I'm never gonna be. I put videos on two x speed all the time, bro. All the f-ing time. I pretty much exclusively watch <laughs> yeah. videos at two x speed, unless you're Maxor. Aside from that, I watch every video at two times. Oh, on Ben really? Shapiro. I, <laughs> I guess can't I'm not. <laughs> I guess I'm like the only one. Like every like YouTube video I watch, I don't watch on two X speed. I watch regular every single one. Okay, same. Yeah, it, it depends. I like, like to hear I'll, everything. I like uh, to just you know be in the like get the feel of the creator too. That's you know speaking like their way with their mannerisms, words. I don't know. Just uh, going fast. See, so you, just... you have to you have to two X speed max because some people have found the found the way to get mid roll ads, and it's just speaking really slowly like this yeah, there are some they, people that talk like intentionally mark. slowly i see if i'm watching something on stream i will always watch it you know yeah. regular speed unless it's like one of the few specific people that i, I can't wait have <laughs> you seen the wait actually good point nox have you seen the pewdiepie infinite money glitch i did so, he I, has I think all so of smart. his videos playing on stream so in a row uh, so smart i can't I, wait for the I, bridge I video so- to show up dude is that not good? Is that is that allowed? Are you allowed Why to not? Do that? Uh, uh, yeah, I always thought there was a rule see, against pre-recorded content. The one thing I find weird. Well, like so that's the, what the I rule. Which I, I, I was like, I could give you the rule. Oh, sorry, Knox. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'll, I'll let you go. Just a fast no, 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 rule. Go for is, it. Like yeah, partners. It's, I believe. Yeah, for partners, it's uh, it's within twenty four. It's I believe forty eight hours. Uh, you can't put um like your your vod or clips from there. You know anything there to a video onto YouTube. So you have to wait at least twenty four to forty. So those are his old videos. He could put them all on there and just have them run. So mm. it's just your new content, like from Twitch. You have to give it within 24 to 48. Uh, anytime after that, then you could upload pieces from that VOD right to YouTube. So you have to give it a delay. Go ahead, Nux. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. Nope, nope. All good. You got it. Yeah, but I think there's also like a rebroadcasting feature, right? You see sometimes like when streams are 
being rebroadcasted. It doesn't say live. There's like a little arrow on it instead. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking yep. about? Yes, yeah, so you're and, allowed to uh, do that from their VODs and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, but uh, to just restream it as a live stream, I, I didn't know you're allowed to do that. Well, I mean, uh, a lot of people were asking. A lot of people, I saw people writing in uh, like in tweets for the infinite infinite money glitch. So like, you know, uh, who would want to sit there and watch that? You know, and I, well, it, if you think about it, you know, there's a lot of people think of like, you know, anime watch alongs and all this. You know, you got a, a creator, you know, old know. videos I'll, that I'll people be- haven't seen. <laughs> And like everybody with kind of the same like-minded interest to just hang out in the chat. And it's really not a bad yeah. idea. And there'll, there'll be people that'll be there and just, you know, you get to, it's like being at a movie theater, except you could talk, you know, and it's quiet, you know, and you can take yeah. the chat. I don't know. I, I, I really don't like that take in general, not yours, the take that it's an infinite money glitch. It's like, why oh, is yeah. it not okay? Who's going to watch it? It's bad content. It's like, dude, man could do whatever the hell he wants. And it's yeah. literally people that are watching it that are making it worthwhile for him. Is like, there any creator that loves money more than PewDiePie? Oh, dude. Oh, him, uh, hello. Well, no, PewDiePie <laughs> loves money, dude. I'm sure he does, but he didn't promote NFTs as far as I know, right? Well, he's smart. You can love money and also be yeah, smart. You, you can <laughs> love money and find out how to make better money. I, know, I think term. Logan Paul he's is had... intelligent and he definitely dude, loves money. Have you seen... We've talked about his uh, PewDiePie's descriptions before, right? Yes. Yeah, no, how it's just like it's for all years, affiliate links. It's all just like a hundred affiliate links have been in his descriptions for like ten years. Dude, but I mean that's smart though. It's like, bro, if I'm gonna <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if, I, yeah. if I'm gonna use the monitor, I'm gonna fucking put that monitor affiliate link in, dude. Oh, I, feel like, I feel like <laughs> if, PewDiePie, crazy. if PewDiePie really loved money, I feel like he would upload a ten minute half assed Reddit reaction video every day. What does that he do now? True. He doesn't upload. I... He uploads, you know, once <laughs> every two weeks fishing in oh, Japan. Oh, really? He doesn't or upload anymore. Like every two weeks, like a yeah, little he, Japan he's vlog like moved or out to Japan and like okay. lives out there. Ever since he went through his uh, his like cynical, uh, based, red pilled, Greek, ancient God, I uh, fucking <laughs> phase. I fucking hate it when you use the word red pill to describe <laughs> any form of personal growth. <laughs> he I mean, that's what it is. Though. That's yeah. like the ironic thing that people say on the internet is that it's like he's red pilled. Because he's, but in reality, he's just a smart guy. He's like, oh, he worked out he before he's red pilled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, is it not like a political thing now to be fit? I guess. Yeah, it is. To be fair, yeah, it is. yeah. Because you know, they say every, everyone thing. that is uh, healthy votes for Trump. That's just a fact. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, go out for a jog, and I start getting these Republican thoughts coming into my head. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta down an ice cream sandwich <laughs> before I can. Thoughts. Yeah. Can I, can I get it? For some reason, I don't want the government to control me today. Dude, I, dude, I this sh- run is really getting my blood pumping. Bro, I, I shotgun a Dr Pepper and I immediately <laughs> can go full by after that. Don't worry, dude. I counterbalance all of it. I'm starting to hate gay people right now, <laughs> bro. It's, dude, dude, it's it's wild. Like when I'm on the internet. Now, now it's like f-ing, it's it's insane because like we're i don't know if like the same demonetization rules apply to every creator that talks about like shit because i'm sitting over there i'm like dude i say the word too many times i get an age restriction and ben shapiro out here is saying everything under the sun and dude gets to walk around with full ads and everything like what it is the- wild <laughs> like youtube will con- consider some people political channels or uh news channels and somehow they can get away with anything even if it would be considered hate speech by other youtubers well you like know? there's this matt walsh guy right and like i don't know who the f- he was until like a bunch of his like uh documentary shit showed up it's like what is a woman or whatever oh, so he's dude. like oh yeah. it's that guy yeah yeah, yeah. so like yeah. And I'm just like, damn, who's this Matt Walsh character? I opened up his like channel. He's like, anyways, about those trans people, boys. Let's let dude's yeah, going down wild. the laundry list of shit to say. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, damn, dude, he's going off, bro. This is like, like, let me explain Matt Walsh. Okay, he makes Saudi Arabia look progressive. Like, yeah, that guy, that guy. I think he just says stuff to say things. Yeah, like he's he's pretty oh, yeah. wild. Yeah, like he's a wild dude and he's I, a and, wild dude and he's so wild that like his character like i i put on his documentary that what is a woman thing and it was just yeah, one of I those things where too. it's like i was yeah. like dude this is like the most and like yellow Sad. journalist like cut together bullshit that i'm about to see every single one of those interviews you could like the way that they were cut and we've been editing videos for so long on our channels that we know what a deceptive jump cut looks like or when like you actually do cut out context i'm like damn this guy's going on. I don't even know if it's the context that he cut out per se, or just like he, the way I, that I he, bet starts he interviewed those triple the people and only kept a third of the interviews. That yeah. I do believe. But but like you go to his channel and it's like, dude, it's like 
if I did that, bro, I'd be getting, I'd be gone off YouTube within 48 hours. Like TOS yeah, striped off the platform. He's a political channel somehow, so he's able to get away with it. It's it's but weird. The, that's so weird how they have these like weird rules. It's like, okay, so you're allowed to just destroy the TOS. Like Tucker Carlson comes up here and talks about every 4chan poll level like conspiracy. And I even put in the word 4chan. Bro, like... When I was making that Lord Miles Taliban video, dude, you know the hardest part of that video? Finding out how to title it. I'm like, well, I can't put 4chan in. I can't put Taliban in there because that's oh, a yeah. TOS strike waiting to happen. So oh, like, yeah. shit, how do I in? How do I, uh, how do I, how do I navigate this rabbit hole? And like, then you go on to like Tucker Carlson. It's like, he's just able to like throw whatever he wants up there. Not even give, like Destiny, one of the friends of our show, he comes on. He got he on your a strike from... Yeah. Yeah, he got striked for medical misinformation because he was, ago, like, actually. reacting to, like, he was reacting to a COVID thing. And, like, he got fucking, like, he was debunking all the shit, but he still got fucked over because he played the video. And the same video oh, okay, will play okay. on, like, other political channels, and it's like, oh, so they're allowed to do it, and Destiny over here gets fucking nuked because he was trying there to debunk it. There is definitely a favoritism to it. It's like... <laughs> You'll find clips of some sort of hate speech or whatever, and someone will react it and get a strike, and then you know someone on some news channel will react it, and it'll be just fine, monetized, the, the, trending. The, dude, Nox, this is why I'm so glad when I, when it comes to conspiracy theories. Sometimes you have like the president of Mexico telling us about how elves are real, and then I can just <laughs> say, bro, this is this is like actual fact. Like this is the pre- about that. this is the president of Mexico. He reached out to the Mexican federales to confirm dude the elves. Dude is elf. worried. Dude, he confirmed the elves. <laughs> he is worried. I could sit there and be like, you know what my authority is? The Mexican government. What, you gonna tell me the Mexican government's gonna lie about Bigfoot? <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Come on, this is, a, you ain't gonna lie about aliens and shit. Like if tomorrow Biden came Truth's out. Truth's coming out. Bro, if Biden came out tomorrow and said, we just shot an alien in the head. Like, in full photo and everything like he comes out i just got this photo from Check this out like he comes out it's like the united states delta force just confirmed they shot alien a lamau bin laden in front of us or something a lamau yeah. bin laden <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like it's like, it's like it's like the it's like the it's like the filthy friend like alien doll with a fucking bullet in its head and, like green blood everywhere bro i i would be like that's it i can legally just say aliens have been found and get the and president confirmed it, dude. What are you gonna fact check? You see, I don't the White think House? they care. I don't think they care about like alien conspiracies. <laughs> they honestly, don't. They, they, they only comp- they they only care about conspiracies that I feel like have a slight chance of being true. If it's a fake conspiracy that's an obviously fake conspiracy, they don't care. Like flat Earth. Like you can talk about flat Earth however long you want on YouTube. No yeah, you, can. you can talk about all. You can talk yeah, about it's a some, joke because it's yeah. a joke. But <laughs> you start talking about like some assassination or some inside job or some right, right, right. Then all of a yeah. sudden, bro, they, you can't even talk about Ghislaine Maxwell's Reddit alleged Reddit account. Sorry, I don't want to go. In. Wait, is she going to sue me? No, she's in prison. Well, there we go. There we go. Could be dead it soon. It could probably. be true. It could be, you know, and, and I'm just so, sitting over there. I'm like, dude, I would like to cover it, not because of the weird shit. It's because, like, yo, it's Ghislaine Maxwell's alleged Reddit account, dude. Well, I know you don't it's want like to cover it. I actually the- never, never heard of it. Can you give me a TLDR without too much? So, you know. um, so there was an account on Reddit. Basically, it was like it was in defense of like anything Epstein Maxwell related shit, right? And the reason why people are wondering it's Ghislaine Maxwell is. It gets pretty descriptive, and also it stopped posting around the time of the feds arresting her. So okay. there's a, either it's like the longest deep cover troll imaginable, which it could be, all right? There's some trolls that are dedicated to their craft, or it literally could just be like it was her actual Reddit account, and she was just, you know, which isn't hard to believe. It's not like you can't just sit there and be like, you know, famous people aren't on social media. They are. I bet Elon Musk has a and Reddit account where he's just shit posting all the time. Oh it's yeah, he has to find his yeah. terrible meme yeah. somewhere. Bro, I, how do people I love even how would people Musk even find that? Dude. It doesn't have her name or anything. How would people even put two and two together? How do you even find that? I mean like you you're you're talking like you, that's the thing with like Reddit investigators. When you've got like all the free fucking time in the world, bro, you and will they are make pretty, connections. pretty, you pretty will nutty find. at, at- making connections with a lot of different things. And they, 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 they've, Bro, they've solved crimes about, with just like a little piece of, you know, from a car accident, yeah. you know, like we're, a little piece. We're you know, talking about a community. Things. We're talking about communities of people. When Shia LaBeouf went out into the f-ing fields, pointed a camera up. Bro, these people looked at flight path information and found the exact latitude and longitude of a flag. Like, that's how much... It's yeah, not just free insane. time. It's like the collective hive mind of like straight up full-blown autism 
And this is where like autism really comes in. It's like because I'm not saying that like in well, an yeah, offensive way. Like, people way. are minded in, like, like a good that. Way. Like like being smart wise. Uh, I understood. Uh, yeah. It's just a like, funny thing yeah. to say. I'm like I'm like That's I'm like when you've plan. got when you've got yeah when you're putting the puzzle pieces together like that, your brain will think in different ways, and you'll like like I wouldn't be I, I'd sit there and be. It would take me a while before I got to flight path information. You can you tell me somebody went onto that page is like I'm gonna I'm gonna chart like international flight information and see where the jets were flying i'm like dude okay that's that's like fbi like profiler mine like congratulations five head moves man it's crazy five head moves especially when it came to her fucking like reddit account or alleged reddit account i can't fucking say it like it is um but yeah no it's like any celebrity is gonna have it like elon musk probably has like a fucked up reddit he's probably defending tesla autopilot to this day right now on like a fucking reddit account dude it's insane and Sometimes, he's feeling so powerful about it too bro you know how up it was like like so my dad sends me an image because I bought him the, the Model Y or whatever, right? Like the car, and he had like the autopilot shit in it. And like he was telling me, it's like, hey, uh, son, the autopilot got recalled. Is it safe to use it? I'm like, uh, no, dad, you don't, you don't, don't let, you know how to drive a car, right? You do it on your own there, buddy. It is like the freakiest shit ever. I have no idea how it's legal because I've said this numerous times. Like I'm like, if you set that shit to drive in a school zone, I think there's a part of the AI that's like, fuck children. I'm gonna run them over, like oh my God. Kid, like school zone limits, dude. It doesn't even recognize school zone limits. I had it one time on autopilot, and it drives into a school zone, and like the school zone timing is like thirty, right? The bitch is about to hit sixty. I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah, dude. I'm I don't a- know. I oh when it comes to the Tesla autopilot stuff, I get scared. I have a friend. Well, he's. I almost uh, died in it co- the other the my, other week, actually. Oh God, please don't do that. You my know what? cousin's please husband. Don't do that. He has like an. <laughs> It, he has an hour long drive to work every day and he's like well it's a pretty straight highway so he puts it on autopilot he just leans the seat back and he leans back watching youtube videos on his phone while the car drives him to work that is terrifying so la- last week when i was getting oh resident evil God. right i went to so i was picking up resident evil 4 early the disc copy and i was driving yep. into toronto right so it's like about a 40 45 minute drive and uh, so I picked the game up and I'm coming home. So I put the car in the fast lane, the little hov lane or whatever and shit. Um, so, cause I'm like, whatever, I can take advantage of it. They have some incentive. I autopilot the car and like, I'm paying good attention. Like even if it's autopiloting, my hand is always on the wheel. I'm always looking forward. It does the same thing it did in that San Francisco clip. You know, when the Tesla pileup happened, the yeah. car starts breaking. Like in the, in, there's no car in front of me. Cars behind me, obviously, and like you're talking about, it said 120, and the brake suddenly hit. Like I'm being jo- like jolted forward. I'm like I hit the brake immediately and just start accelerating. I'm like no, 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 not after that bullshit. It did the same f-ing thing it did in like San Francisco. It just started braking randomly. Like it hit the brakes, nothing in front, nothing there. Something in the sensor tripped, and it immediately. If it, basically, if I'm not paying attention, if I didn't pay attention, I might not have died. Considering like fucking, you know, I'm in the front of the car would have been a back pile of but the dude behind me would have died like easily the dude's in a prius okay like that that shit don't have collision ratings worth yeah. of damn okay like he's gonna hit the car boom dead you know like at that speed you're gone so i'm like dude never f-ing trust this bullshit again well, how you're doing it you're doing it the correct way that's what you're supposed to do right you're, while you're you know doing the autopilot you're supposed to have your hands right you're not supposed to lean back like noxus boy I, I feel, YouTube I feel videos. Like, like that's scary yeah. so i could never do that. i feel like i feel so like scary. cops I'm totally in defense of cops pulling over Tesla drivers if they drive too good. Because sometimes at Friday nights when they're in a straight line, ain't nobody... Bro, I've driven home at 9 p.m. on a Friday night. I ain't driving in a straight fucking line for like 30 kilometers all the way through. I'm going to pull your ass over and check if you're like actually wasted. Because it is like, in a way, like the technology is cool. Like imagine if somebody was like pissed drunk and the car could drive you home totally safe. I could kind of... I still don't think you should get into a car if you're drunk, period. But like, if the technology exists to get you home, that's kind of cool. But it's not there. Like, this is it's beta I think software. That, that's that's spooky. It. I I don't think even if you're even if your car's driving automatically, I don't think you could be sitting in the driver's yeah. seat. You shouldn't. Like, it should be absolutely illegal to be in a motor vehicle and like operate it while fucking being totally to operate it. You're sitting in the back. Yeah. Okay, whatever. But yeah. if you're sitting in the driver's seat, even if it's driving itself, I I don't see it. Like, I mean, even like, as a knee jerk yeah. reaction, the guy pushes the gas and kills someone. That. Yep. bad yep. yeah like dude there's first thing i hate is when people get really overconfident about their driving i'm like only a little buzz like there's been times where i've like driven in 30 minutes like i'm like i like 
I'll tell you one good like story. This is like last year of college, right? And I'm pretty sure I saved this dude's life. So like last year college that I was in, right? We were at like a f party. We were kind of getting wasted. And like, I had just got in a car and this dude was like ready to f go home. Like we're talking dude like ripped four or five like fucking shots of the good stuff. Like tequila, everything. And like mixing alcohol, you're going to get even more yeah. wasted. So like the guy can barely drive. He's like, I'm buzzed. I'm buzzed. And he's trying to get into his car. And I'm like... I don't really know you that well, but I had a few drinks with you. I don't want you to die. So I'm like, where do you live? Because I kind of wanted to drive to and I had like maybe one beer. Point is, the guy pissed and vomited in my car, which like I had to get a detail later. (laughs) But like, but like at the end of the day, had I let the guy drive home, it would have been a dead statistic, you know? So like I could take a little bit of shit in my car. It was a used Acura anyways. Like it was already like, you know, it, it had seen its... And fair share of shit and piss anyways, I have to assume. <laughs> Another college person owned the car. Wasn't fucking new. But like but you saved guy, lives. Like, yeah, you sitting, saved lives. Well, definitely. Well, he's sitting in my car and he's like, he's like fucking like this the whole time. Like he's testing the fucking like belt. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, dude, you are fucking gone. And just now about to get into his car. Dude, I, I have it's so weird. I have so zero tolerance for like drunk drivers or people thinking it's cool. Like I, if there, if someone's drunk and their blood alcohol level is high enough, and the the car could somehow find out and it pull, takes a gun out and shoots them in the head before they can start driving, I would be all for that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like I, like as soon as you touch the f-ing steering wheel, it does the check. And you turn the instant. car on with you in the driver's seat, your hands on the wheel, yeah. and you're drunk. Let the car should just shoot you in the face. Dude, I, I get like I, I'm sometimes I wonder I'm like yo, some people are just ballsy. Like I'm always scared Dude, of getting a DUI. You're dangerous to everyone else around you. If it was, if it was yeah. only if it was only your own life at risk, you know what? Uh, sure, whatever. Like, Dude, you know, I, I get it. I'm Come always on. scared of like motherfuckers who are like, "What are you gonna get a DUI? You're gonna fuck up the rest of your life." Like, bro, I, there's times where I've had one beer at like a Dave and Buster's, and I'm like pulling out of the lot. And, like, there's one time I got pulled over. I had one beer. And the cop, like, I see the flashlights going, right? Like, the f***ing sirens. And I'm like, I pull over to the side. I'm like, I do the Randy thing from South Park. I'm like, all right, here's some f***ing gum in my mouth. All right, I'm just going to f***ing rearrange everything. <laughs> Officer comes up. He's like, how's it going tonight? You know, you broke a red light. And I'm like, oh, I, I bet I did. I bet I broke all of them. You know, to be, I'm not going to argue this. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> he's like, have you been drinking tonight? I'm like, nope, not had one drop of booze in me. Not at all. Dude, I thought he, I, like, this was, like, years ago, like, and I was really young, so I'm, like, sitting over there, I'm, like, dude, is he gonna, like, breathalyze my ass after one beer? No, he didn't. But, like, I'm just, like, dude, anybody that gets that confident in shit and, like, gets into their car, I'm, like, dude, are you not worried about, like, just, like, the legal, the people yeah, around you? Never. Killing the yeah, people around never. you, your own legal consequence? Like, damn, is it, like, maybe out, like, you are, like, piss wasted, and that happens. And usually, like, if I know that I'm gonna go somewhere to get piss wasted, I'm gonna uber my ass okay the worst case i've ever had the worst uber story i ever had ever this is like in new york i had a like people that i was with they threw up in the car after like a fucking bar night some guys uber like they threw up in it so i was like oh dude now i feel bad like the worst case scenario like i told them like pull over an atm because i was like i'm just gonna give you like a grand just so you don't report it to uber and like one star my ass or their ass i didn't know who the was paying for it right I was like, oh, this is going to be a bad story. That's the closest I've had to a bad drinking night experience. But that's still in a fucking Uber. That's still not risking lives, you know? Like, was, yeah. vomit's not going to kill you. you got it's disgusting. Yeah. You got an Uber. That's I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, vomit's not going to kill you. <laughs> you behind the fuck. Like, I'm like, motherfuckers, you, I will be with people. And I'm not going to mention YouTuber names because I love some of these people to death. But there are some fucking YouTubers out there that over estimate their drinking ability like we're talking after nights of fucking pulling back shots or about to get into their car i'm like don't don't do that don't and then some know. of them i, I heard, I heard a story off. uh quibble cop told me a story like off camera about some crazy party that went down and like someone like got like crazy alcohol poisoning and Minx? like i no 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 that this is new i'm talking about oh, okay. old, like, old like, story okay. and dude like the parties and the events that a lot of these people throw and do is really really scary like i don't know do people feel like they're superhuman like since they have millions of people that watch them do they feel like they are like greater beings than other people have you ever been to college that's how it's like there too and they're poor as shit. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> no, no, no. But this is like Actually, next level parties. This is like, dude. I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like frat parties are next level and disgusting. Yeah, you, you will never find a place. Those, of dude. The... Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. You're right. 
you will never yeah. find the biggest group of alcoholics that engineering school. <laughs> that is like <laughs> so you gotta you gotta understand engineering school is wild as <laughs> okay. Like you're you like so this is a bunch of like especially Toronto engineering. Okay, it's a bunch of Indian kids who finally got to leave their like parents' house. And now they're living in like some fucking shithole frat house or whatever, right? In the middle of the city. And it's the first time ever they get to buy booze. Bro, they go overboard, dude. I had one guy like, I hope my mom doesn't see me. He shotguns a Coors Light. I'm like, I really hope your mom doesn't see you. Because if my mom (laughs) saw me do a Coors Light like that, she would be embarrassed to have me as her child. She'd be like, damn, son, really? A Coors Light? Come on now. I thought, at least, at least fucking get up to Bud Light territory. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? Your dad's like, like, better know how to how to do donuts too while you're drinking that beer too bro my, my dad idea. is like you better know how to do donuts and you better know how to shotgun the right fucking beer right like but not at the same time <laughs> not at the right? same time, same time. <laughs> no but like you'll like you'll get a like they'll buy like a bottle of like i had one case like dude buys like a whole like fucking, you know the big handle of jack daniels like that's meant for like the bartending shit you know yeah. like it's a, the comically large one bro dude yeah. downs like half of that and he's oh, like, it's God. not hitting me. I'm like, just wait. Yeah, like, and then 30 wait, seconds like, later. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, just wait, in like the toilet. 10 minutes. Bro, bro, I've had like, it's just like when you can smell and this is, is going to hurt for some people when there's like a pungent, like smell of vomit in the air after a night of those parties, it's done. Like that's a college night, dude. And dudes are gone. Liver, like in the morning after I'm like, I'm pretty sure the medical students are going to come in here and just start examining <laughs> livers and shit. No. Like it's going to be like a fucking, like examination hall for them. And I'm just like, like after, like for me drinking, I'm like, dude, if I do like two shots, I'm done. Like I'm, I'm out of it. Like it, that might sound lightweight to some people, but my cutoff is like the moment I feel that buzziness in my head, I'm done, dude. Cause I got to drive home cheap. and shit. I gotta, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I gotta get home and shit too. Like, I'm like, dude, I got way too much to lose if I can, if I, if I, if I f- my life up. But yeah, no, like Caleb is right. If you go to a college dorm, especially first year, they f- lose it, dude. And it, they, Disgusting. They'll think it they're really super fucking human. Yeah, yep. I know. I do know what you mean. You, you're right. <clears throat> I mean, it's especially engineering shit, dude. I feel like the best kind of students are like business students, dude. Like some of those guys are just like normal level, level headed guys. Engineering kids are just too fucking like sheltered in. Like, this is their first chance at having, like, some level of, like, freedom. And they go overboard with that shit, dude. Damn. It's like, it's like especially, I'm like, yo, so your your mom and dad wouldn't like you getting wet? I'm like, I'm pretty sure your mom and dad would be okay with you, like, you know, had a beer or two every once in a while. Maybe not, like, the whole ass case. I'm so that's, <laughs> there's, a, there's a fine line. I feel like in a lot of these parties, I'm like, Professor Oak, I'm like, boys, there's a time and place to do this shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Like, 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 I've had college parties where it's like dudes buy like, like, there's been like cocaine at these parties. And before we continue, cocaine is bad, YouTube, very bad substance to be doing, bro. There's like motherfuckers who like lay out like this meter long line, and I'm like, first off, why are you snorting something? You have no idea where the fuck it came from. I'm like, I'm like, and that smells a lot like baby fucking powder to me too. So whoever <laughs> sold that shit to you is like really. <laughs> like you're not you're not getting the best deal in my opinion but yeah that's uh that's been college experiences and honestly i'm just so glad that i'm out of it like as an adult now it's like yeah my my experience it's like the best thing for me is like a glass of wine at the end of a busy day and then i can just like pass it's, out it's at kind of o'clock. ironic that like everyone like everyone feels like their current age is like the best age until you're like i guess really old but like i'm so glad that that part of my life is behind me Dude, I feel like we're going to be at 50 and be like, yo, this was the right age, dude. Being 50 right? and shit? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Caleb, what's uh, the right age to you? Um, I don't know. I never really had like a – I was pretty much an adult when I was like 15 years old and I didn't drink or anything and I had like a lot of responsibility. So sometime between then and 50, I feel like – 50 is going to be the max for me though. Beyond 50, I feel like I, I wouldn't – uh I feel like I'll just want to shoot myself. You're oh, not gonna, you're not that. gonna be you're not gonna be f-ing launching shit out of trebuchets after at fifty one. My, is what my, you're saying? my advice to everyone in this episode is just please don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't do what do I just said. I would. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I, I definitely I feel like uh, I feel like I'll be I'll be old. I don't know. I, it just depends on how gracefully you can age. I feel like I've done a really good job of being healthy. Well, I guess it also depends on uh, like what you want out of life. 
right? Like, I yeah. guess it depends Money, on what you want. Money, dude. That's what we want for YouTubers, bro. <laughs> oh, dude, that's I want, for sure. I want to be the said, hey, children. One thing that I, I want to say kids. about Jews, they like money. Like, yeah. Italians like pizza, man. Like, bagels, bagels, bro. Remember bagels. Next, what, bagels. What is the perfect <laughs> age for you? What is the perfect age of, like, thing for you? That's a, probably uh, that's perfect, a good question to end off on. The perfect age. I feel like... Um, like 30 is the perfect age because you got a little bit more money in your pocket, depending on whatever career path. You got some more money in your pocket. You've been through some stuff. You know, you've had experiences, some job experiences as well. You know, you kind of settled in. You don't have to, if you're on the path for marriage, uh, you know, that's a good time to start for a kid. And if you're single, you got some extra money in your pocket. You're still not young. Uh, you're not old. You're still young. You're like kind of like a, you know, right there in the middle. I think that's like the perfect one. But I have to agree with 50 is where I, uh, I don't think I like anything after 50. I think it's really yeah, different for everyone. I think like, uh, Sneeko at 30, I think is going to be having a very hard time. Uh, I agree. See, like, so for, as, as an example and well, okay, not a good example, but my grandfather at 30 was very happy because, you know, he survived the Holocaust. Uh, so, you know, I guess everyone has a right. different, <laughs> Different Shit. metric. Sometimes I wish we just had like totally irresponsible guests on this podcast. Like Nags, I love your answer, but goddamn, you sounded like so intelligent saying that. I kind of <laughs> wish we had a fucking Aiden Ross because I would love to ask the same question to him. Yeah. Holy True, yeah, we needed a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, so, Who's so the guest for next week? Aiden Ross. <laughs> Hayden Ross's perfect age was uh, the first 40 seconds he was looking at his sister before he realized it was his sister. <laughs> That's his perfect age. I feel, I feel like we just need to find like the actual like biggest dipshit on the platform and have them on. Like I would love to peek, and it's not even insulting. Like that was just that's just a frame of mind that only a few people can have. You know what I mean? Like this is why like there's a saying, "Ignorance is bliss," bro. Some days when I wake up and I read social media, I wish I was a total brain dead. You know, then I then my life perspective could be totally different. You know, like I would come onto this show with like people as smart as Nux and Caleb and just be like, forget you guys. Okay. Like I, I, you could dangle keys in front of me and I would cream myself. Like I wish I could have that at some point, dude. Like I wish, I wish for a day there could be like some magic drug or pill that would make me experience what it's like. Yeah, for, for one day, you wish you would be the guy that sniffs Andrew Tate's chair. <laughs> Bro, like, that's the thing. Like we look like, just imagine being in the mindset of that, right? Like just like, I so and can't. It took a I, minute. I can't imagine was, being to, to the defend person. Him, to defend them. That was like a joke. Right? It was bad. I mean, you know, but it was, you know, it was pretty funny. I don't I know, bro. You say it's a joke, but like. <laughs> like <laughs> it's a joke. I mean, it's know, true. Like, but, you know, <laughs> not, not every joke is a joke worth telling. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I mean, you're, you're making it sound like some esoteric <laughs> laugh factory shit. I guess. I guess. Like dude. when they talk about comedians of the modern era, you know, they're going to talk about Aiden Ross sniffing the chair of a sex tra alleged sex trafficker. Alleged, dude. Alleged. Anyways, yeah. uh, before we end, I feel like the Andrew Tate update should be yes. I think the embassy got involved, and he's still been denied any form of freedom. So I don't know how long they have left. I think it's only been a month. I think it's only a month until they can hold them without any charge. But uh, we'll see how it is, man. All I know is no matter what goes on with the tape stuff, it'll blow up the internet to the point where we'll still have content for weeks. Anyways, though, true. hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of the podcast. This Check out our... Episode. That was a amazing episode. Thank Check out our so buddy much. Nags. Dude, Nags, beautiful man. Him. He streams all the time. Fantastic community. Uh, his chat always asks him to stand up to make sure he doesn't have a boner. You know, all that stuff. Dude, Sadly true. That's true. That is the best part it's, it's, about our communities. Stand up. You got a boner or what? <laughs> no, no, he's, he's, always, <laughs> he's always there watching VTubers. They always have to make sure, you know. I don't know, dude. I mean, yeah, it's like there's a lot of funny shit you can do with chat GPT prompts these days. The don't live ass edits don't and whatnot. Ideas. Don't give ideas. No ideas. <laughs> well, chat, well, I mean, people watching, chat GPT 4 just got upgraded. So, I mean, you know, go fucking crazy, I guess. If you want to check out banger content as well regarding weird trebuchets and fat people and all forms of internet good culture, check out Especially our buddy Especially fat people. Especially. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love fat people. I love how you can say that with your nice set in the background. It's so beautiful. It's just... <laughs> I don't know. I saw, I saw like, uh, you know, the face rig technology thing, the, the AI, the face filters, right? Mm -hmm. So I saw this dude standing next to his wife who was very obese and the face filter made it him standing next to a cow oh my so, god so you know uh, ai still has a long way to go so disrespectful unbelievable am i right unbelievable and if you want to check out amazing content as well next talk it was there and if you absolutely have lost everything then please check out my channel at some ordinary gamers <laughs> that said if you enjoy what you want listen you guys laugh but it's about setting expectations <laughs> at the bottom okay if you set the expectations at ground bedrock level the enter the audience will always yeah. be entertained okay that's true that's a good point All right? like that's what the point. you know what you don't want to sell them a in beamer okay you want to sell them a yeah like you want to sell them valid a like valid yeah. I'm a genius. yeah dude you want to you want to you want to sell them a 86 like the buick all right and then like and then when then when they get in they'll be like oh shit it's nicer than i expected that's how you do yeah. it. That's, that's marketing right there. it's a camry when you get in you realize it's an r-type <laughs> exactly dude when you get yeah. it when you get in and the gears rattling yeah. and the okay. wheels about to fall off but the yeah. but the suspension holds True. you're like maybe this is a gtr <laughs> maybe <laughs> but anyways if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe just like just like it we are out